I have been asked multiple times by people who cannot stand their job because their co-workers get on their nerves for various reasons. What do I do in this situation, Steven? Do you have any tips? Can you coach me on this? And quitting is not an option because I need the income. I have a very simple answer from one of my favorite books written by Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Dale Carnegie says this, which is my first cue for you. Don't focus too long on the shortcomings of others. You get up in the morning, you dread going to work because of that one thing about that person, that one flaw that gets under your skin. The world is filled with publications, websites, social media channels, and gossip news that does nothing but focus on the flaws of others. So you are already tired from hearing that. The last thing you wanna do is go to work and do the same. So my first cue is this, don't do it. Don't focus on their shortcomings. Listen, we all have flaws. It's just a waste of time. It depletes your energy to put all this attention and effort into reminding yourself about how much this person sucks. Don't think about how much of a devil they are. It's a reality that you cannot change, which leads to my second cue. People don't change. It's hard for you to change. So listen, you have to accept them for who they are. This is just a hard reality and roll on, baby. You got to move on. You got to keep going and keep growing. You got to let it go and grow because if you focus on the fact that this person is not changing because you want them to change because it's hurting you, all it's going to do is continue to drain the energy out of you. Third cue, don't expect people to be something they're not. You be the person that you want to be. You be the most positive person in the room. You bring the energy that the other person is not bringing to the table. You be that person. Listen, a lot of times we hate what we see in other people because perhaps they remind us of something that we dislike about ourselves. I don't know if this is you or not. I'm just trying to help you today. Fourth point I want to make is, listen, count the blessings, focus on the positive things. I mean, even if there's nothing positive in that other person, you focus on something positive about you. You focus on something positive that you're going to think about, something positive you're going to read, something positive you're going to do, so that you don't lose all your energy to that negative, stinking thinking. Those are my cues for you. I hope I helped you today. Until next time, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.